How's it going everyone? In today's video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to remove the brake pads on the front ends of a Ram 1500 from 09 to 18, the fourth gen people call it. So I already have the wheel off. I'm going to show you how to uh, change the brake pads or change the rotor, whatever you might be doing. So let's get right into it. All right, so there's probably going to be two things uh, you'll have to consider. Are you changing just the brake pads or are you changing the rotor as well? Because there's going to be two different steps depending on which way you go, um, if you're doing one or the other, or you're doing both. So if you're just going to be changing the pads, there is a 13 mil head bolt here um, and here, and you're going to have to remove those <clears throat> in order to take the caliper off, but the caliper bracket is going to remain, and then you can take out the pads. So let's, uh, let's show you how to do just that, and then if you're going to be taking off the rotor, It'll be a different process, but we'll get into that in a second. So here is this 13 mil bolt, like such. And we'll take out the top one. You might get in a situation where the actual pin starts to rotate like this, in which case you'll have to put a wrench on here. So let's get a wrench and show you that. So you're gonna take your 17 mil wrench, you're gonna put it here, you're gonna put your 13 on the back, and you're just gonna hold the pin from spinning. And then your 13 mil bolt should free itself. So they do generally have Loctite on the bolt, the 13 mil bolt. So there we go. As you can see, there's the Loctite. So that is off, and we're also gonna have to push back the piston, so I'm assuming you're gonna be putting on new pads. So you are gonna have to retract the pistons so you can fit the new pad in there since the pads are gonna be thicker. Um, you're gonna have to make up for that difference. So let's go ahead and do that. So you're gonna see in here these slots. You will see your pad and you'll see the piston. So differentiate between the two, and you'll always wanna pry on the actual pad because the pads are gonna come out. So if you damage anything trying to pry with something like this, it's just against the pad steel, <clears throat> which isn't anything, but you definitely don't want to damage the piston. So just be conscious of what you're prying against. And we're going to go ahead and push back these pistons. There's two of them, one here, one here, and then we can remove the caliper. So once you retract the pistons, you can go ahead and lift off your caliper and put it somewhere so that you're not suspending it by this rubber line. So you can usually just sit it on top of the upper control arm so that you're not putting any tension on this. And there are your pads. So this process is pretty straightforward. This is just you remove your pads like so. <clears throat> you're going to replace them. You might want to use a wire brush, clean up these tabs, and then you can go ahead and put your pads back in. So this is just if you're going to just be changing the pads and not... Um, the rotors. <clears throat> so now we'll get into uh, the other thing you want to do is not only clean up here where the pads actually contact the bracket, but you'll want to remove these pins and put new slider grease on them. So you remove these pins out of the rubber boot. Um, usually you can add some slider grease to these because you don't want these to seize up. They should be freely floating. Um, and that would be that. So <clears throat> you go ahead and put your new pads on at this point. But if you're gonna be changing the rotor, this whole bracket has to come off, which we'll get into also. Reinstalling the caliper, same way you took it off. Once your pads are in place, you're gonna go ahead and just throw the caliper over top. And then you're gonna put in your two 13 mil bolts back in. So you'll tighten these back up and that'll be your caliper or your brake pad replacement portion. Now, if you're going to be uh, changing the rotors, like I mentioned also, um, you guys can decide what sequence of events you wanna do, but you're gonna see two 21 millimeter head bolts back here, one here and one at the top here. And if you turn the wheel like you see here, um, you can usually fit a pretty large impact gun like that in and remove those two 21 mil bolts. 
at which point the caliper will slide off. You can do the same thing, just rest on your upper control arm and this rotor will fall off. So let's go ahead and do that. So there you have it, the rotor can now come off. Now the caliper is removed, like so. You can put your new rotor back on and reverse the steps. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. That is how you're going to easily replace the brake pads or the rotor on the front ends of one of these Ram 1500s. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Check out the other videos on the channel. We have a lot of maintenance and modification and performance videos for these Hemis. Um, lots of stuff on the channel. Anyways, you guys, we'll see you on the next video. Take care.